Hello, my lovelies. Today we're going to connect with the koshas, the energetic sheaths of the body. There are five koshas. And in yoga, they represent the ways we connect with ourselves. And if you have one kosha completely in balance and beautiful, the others might still need a little love, just like with the chakras. And the five koshas are the physical body, the breath body, the mental emotional body, the wisdom body, and the bliss body. And no one is more important than the other. Just like no part of ourselves is more important. We are whole and integrated, just as we are. So beginning to settle into the space for you. Taking gentle and easy breaths. Feeling into the body in this moment. Noticing how the air feels against the skin, any textures of clothing, the pillows or blankets around you. Even if you're resting against a wall or laying on your back, noticing the support beneath the body. Maybe even check in internally. How's your body doing right now? Any basic needs, hunger, thirst, elimination, energy, sleepiness. Just being present with the body in this moment. Anamaya Kosha, the physical body. And then connecting in the moment with the breath. Where's the breath moving through the body? How's it feeling? Is it easy and gentle? Is it interrupted in this moment? What parts of the body are awake with the breath? Where does the breath manifest itself? Is it in the lungs, the shoulders, the back? side ribs, the nose, the mouth, the throat, maybe even down the arms and the legs to the fingers and the toes. Maybe you feel your breath in your abdomen breathing all the way into the pelvic bowl, or maybe your breath's a little shaky right now. Maybe it's hard to access breath. There's no right or wrong. It just is as it is. If you can hear where I am, the wind is moving through the trees and the wind is always as it should be. So allowing your breath to be the same. Prana Maya Kosha. Check in with your thoughts right now. And as we check in, we can notice the thoughts without attaching to them. So maybe allow them to float by like you would see a cloud in the sky. You're not going to lasso it. You're not going to hold on. You're just going to witness it. Notice them as it moves along. So the thoughts came this way. You don't have to connect or harness them. You can just see how they rise and fall just as easily as they go. Some of them might be a little sticky or tricky, and that's okay. You're still going to allow them to flow through. Checking in with your emotions at this moment. Maybe those emotions connect to physical sensations. Warmth or coolness, zinginess or electricity, tension, ease, relaxation. Maybe you notice the emotions in a part of the body, the chest, the belly, the lower back, the big toe. <laughs> emotions like to show up in lots of interesting places. Sometimes the shoulders or the jaw, the tightening in the back of the head, the holding the hamstrings or the calves a little more. And imagine we could create a nest for each emotion in this moment. Again, not attaching or amplifying or rejecting. I'm just noticing how we can sit with that emotion. Maybe allowing the breath to flow to the emotion. 
allowing it to be just as it is. This idea of negative and positive emotions, cognitions that are helpful or unhelpful, hides us from our experience to connect with what is present in you in this moment. And beginning to notice your inner wisdom. So many places in the body where the wisdom shows up. A lot of times we attach to the skull brain, the gut, the heart. But the wisdom shows up in so many other places. Maybe your wisdom is present in that spot between the collarbone. In the point of the mid bath. Maybe your ears are hearing what you need to in this moment or listening to not only that inner voice, but noticing how you can hear with the heart. Noticing that spot right between the space, between the eyebrows, just above that. The third eye, Ajna. Being aware of how your inner vision shows up. Sometimes we don't love that vision. <laughs> Sometimes we brace against it or reject it. So just as we sat with and flowed through the emotions, the sensations, the breath, sit with and honor what's showing up inside of you right now. In Elder Furthock Grimm's, we talk about Kano, which is that torch light. The vision within, or bringing that which we would not like to come to light, to light. <laughs> Sometimes we wish for clarity, for discernment, and oh, when it comes. But honoring those messages that are present. Allowing yourself to Breathe into them to integrate them in your experience in this moment, knowing that you don't have to attach in any way. Just allow yourself to see clearly. And seeing doesn't have to be in a vision or a visualization, it can be a sense of a thing, of a scene, of something within it. But it's as though the inner eyes were open. There's a sense of clarity. And listening to that voice, some say it's a still, small voice, sometimes it's a roar. It can be persistent, it can be lyrical. On Sue's, in the rooms, is the voice of the goddess. That sense of divinity within you it allows you once more to wake up to who you are. Sometimes we listen, sometimes we don't. It also connects with how we hear the world around us, the sounds, the textures, the symphony of the moment, and our own breath as a part of the moment. And then we inhale that into the body, we let it flow through us as though it's our wind, divine inspiration. And notice how these outer messages dance with the inner messages. How you can be alive with that inner voice, that inner vision, feeling them in your experience in this moment. Noticing how the breath, the physical sensations, the thoughts, and the emotions respond to and leave with this wisdom in this moment. And as he moves through Anamaya Kosha, Pranamaya Kosha, Manamaya Kosha, the mental emotional body, and Vijnanamaya Kosha, the wisdom body, we embrace the idea of bliss, Anandamaya Kosha. That doesn't have to be happiness or joy. It doesn't even have to be ease. 
a sense of who you are in this moment, a sense of contentment, a sense of being present, releasing attachment. Sometimes that's a higher vibration, but it doesn't have to be. Sometimes when we're over-attaching to those high vibes, the brightness, the light only, we get into some nice white lady toxic positivity that doesn't connect with our wholeness, with the physical body, with the breath body, the emotions, or the wisdom. So let's make space for bliss as it shows up and as it balances with the darkness and the shadow. Noticing how both are present in this moment. And for some, when they connect with bliss, it's not your present experience. Maybe it's a place you've been, a place that lights you up or that settles you in, a place where an exhale is full and loud, that your body relaxes into. Ananda Maya Kosha. We're going to begin to do a rotation through the body. And as we do this rotation, sometimes we only connect with those physical sensations, with the physical parts of the body. And I want to invite you to notice the physical, the breath, the emotions, the wisdom, and the messages in the places where bliss is present in all of its wholeness. So maybe you weave and dance through these different experiences as I call out the different parts of the body, just noticing what is present and flowing with what arises, releasing it as easily as you bring it to your mind. Beginning with the top of the head and noticing the top of the head and the big right toe and the big left both second toes and third toes, fourth toes and fifth toes together, up through the thumbs, left and right, the pointer fingers, the middle fingers, the ring fingers and the pinkies. Moving to the hips and the pelvis, the base of the pelvic bowl down through the legs, upper and lower. Up to the shoulder girdle, the joints of the shoulder and the wells in the shoulder blades. Down through the back, the spine, the muscles and tissue that wrap around the belly and the belly button. Up through the solar plexus, into the sides of the torso and the weaving of the ribcage. Nestling the heart center in this moment. And checking in with your heart. What energetic sheath is the easiest to notice at your heart center? Could it be bliss or wisdom? Thoughts or breath? Maybe it's the beating and pulsing of the heart. No right or wrong. Just your experience. And wandering up through the space between the collarbones, through the sides and the front and the back of the neck, the tip of the chin and the sides of the jaw, both ears, cheeks, and temples, the mouth and the nose, both in their wholeness. Up through that third eye, the forehead, to a spot just above that. Connecting in this moment with that spot. Again, checking in with what's present. Without attachment to what you would like to be present. <laughs> or rejection of anything that mm, you're not loving. <laughs> and as you connect with that spot just above the head, let your awareness sink down through the body. To the heels, the toes. Feeling into that connection. Sometimes that earthed connection of the feet is the way 
we connect with the earth herself with that sense of physical sensation. Maybe you move up to the lungs, connecting with the breath body. Up to the skull brain, connecting with thoughts and emotions. And to the back and the gut, connecting with wisdom, maybe even to the ears and down through the throat, maybe even the eyes, and all the tendons and cords and vascular systems that move through all of this, flowing. And then bringing your awareness back to the heart, to a moment of bliss. Each kosha has a color, a chakra, maybe even an element. But notice how they show up for you. Your experience of them. As though they were a friend or an acquaintance you met in the road. And just be aware of how you take them in. feeling how they weave together, how they overlap. And they might not overlap with their neighbors. It might not be a Nandamaya Kosha that dances with the Nanamaya Kosha. So that bliss body with the wisdom body, it might be that bliss and physicality weave together. That breath and bliss connect. A wisdom and physical sensation honor one another. So in this moment being present with what's arising within you. And then we come back to the heart. So that bliss body, Ananda Kosha. And we begin to make our way back out, following these energetic sheets, noticing the wisdom that is present now in your body. Again, it can be a voice, a sense, a kinesthetic awareness. It could be an image. Even a smell or a taste that connects you with your inner wisdom. Sometimes when you seek guidance, it shows up in all kinds of ways. So just being curious in this moment. Vichnana Maya Kosha. Bring your awareness back to the thoughts and the emotions that are present. Perhaps they've shifted and perhaps they haven't. But notice if your attachment has shifted. Notice if the breath has shifted as we come back to that prana maya kosha. And then beginning to feel back into the physical body in this moment. Your experience, the sounds around you, the space you take up in the room or the environment where you are resting right now. Maybe as we have moved outwards, from the bliss body to the wisdom, the emotion body, the breath body, into this physical body, you feel a shape of that. A name, a name, but just this pulsing of energy connecting you to all that is in this world, connecting you to the world around, to other people and places, to their breath, to their essence. the prana that flows through them. So many traditions have names for the breath, for divine inspiration, and they each have a slightly different meaning. Awen, Ashe, Chi. Whatever your experience is, maybe it's the Holy Spirit. 
just notice how you connect. Coming in and out of these shapes. Beginning to be aware of a sense of integration. The tapestry that is woven in this on the world, your imprint on the universe that will never exist in quite the same way again. And that's a beautiful thing. The flow of time, the energy of the world and the universe don't exist without you. So just check it. In your own time, begin to move the body, flexing or stretching in any way that it's delicious to you. Or maybe this just feels nice. <laughs> and when you're ready, let the eyes flutter open, blending the inner world with the outer world. And so it is. This measure is complete. Have a blessed day, y'all.